From powerhouse vocals to shocking diagnosis, hold on to your hats, folks, because Celine Dion's world just took a dramatic turn. The legendary singer recently revealed a bombshell that's left fans stunned and the music industry reeling. Is it an incurable diagnosis? A dramatic feud? Dive in with us to uncover the shocking news that has everyone buzzing about Celine Dion. Early life and humble career beginnings. Among the 14 children born to French-descended Therese and Adhemar Dion, a homemaker and butcher, Dion was the youngest. The family lived in Charlemagne, Quebec, which is located about 24 kilometers, 15 miles, northeast of Montreal. She came from a humble, but according to her, joyful family in Charlemagne, where she was brought as a devout Roman Catholic. Her name, Céline, comes from the French song Céline, that French artist Hugue Offray recorded two years before Dion was born, continuing the family tradition of prominent musicians. She sang Du fil des aiguilles et du coton by Christine Charbonneau at her brother Michel's wedding on August 13, 1973, marking her first public appearance. Le Vieux Baril, literally the old barrel, was the modest piano bar where she and her siblings continued to perform. Not only did Céline Dion's parents always back her musical career, but her incredible skills shone through as she broke into the profession. Even though they were poor, her parents fostered a warm and musical household for their daughter. They got together as a vocal quartet and dubbed themselves Dion's family. They did a lot of touring around Canada. This childhood set the stage for Dion's career as a musician. Dion amazed audiences with her incredible voice when she made her debut at the piano bar Le Vieux Baril, owned by her parents, when she was only five years old. The song It Was Only a Dream, written by Dion's mother Therese Tanguay, was a turning point on her daughter's rise to fame. René Angelil, a famous Quebec music manager, was so taken by Dion's talent that he asked Therese to send him a recording of the song. Learning English and rebranding herself were purposeful moves that Dion did to expand her audience outside the Francophone globe. She hoped this would cement her position as a world-renowned artist. Difficulties prevailed throughout Dion's formative years. Her family instilled in her the principles of perseverance and hard work in an atmosphere filled with love and music, despite financial limits and a crowded home. Growing up in the Dion family's modest home instilled in Celine the value of perseverance. She was raised in the midst of a large family, without personal space or customary amenities, and this experience shaped her eventual respect for simplicity. Their determination to achieve their goals was unwavering, no matter how difficult the road ahead may have been. Rene Angelil noticed Dion's musical ability, which her mother Therese had fostered since she composed her first song. Angelil, seeing Dion's promise, took a huge gamble by mortgaging his home to fund her debut album. Dion's journey was greatly impacted by Therese's artistic influence and guidance, which offered her vital support and advice. Many of Dion's siblings were also gifted musicians, so they were there for her every step of the way and helped shape her career. Looking back on Dion's difficult childhood, it's clear that those years had a significant impact on her strength, personality, and dedication to her art. The groundwork for Dion's extraordinary work ethic and ascent to stardom was built by the lessons learnt from her humble origins, supported by her family and her own resolve to overcome her circumstances. Celine Dion's meteoric rise to fame in the early 2000s was marked by natural ability, drive, and a pivotal meeting with Renee Angelil, who would go on to be her confidant, business partner, and mentor. They had a significant impact on Dion's career, which led to her being a household name around the world. Respected music manager Angelil was touched by a recording of Dion at the tender age of 12, singing a song that her mother had written. He invited Dion to an audition after noticing her great skill. This was a turning point in her life. After seeing her sing, Angelil vowed to himself that he would support her talent and guide her career. Dion had already accumulated an outstanding career of nine French albums and won multiple Felix Awards by the time she was 18 years old, demonstrating her rising stardom and indisputable ability. However, 
Dion and Angelil were both aware that in order for her to become a global sensation, she had to reach a wider audience. In 1990, Dion released her first album in English, Unison, after she took the initiative to spend a year learning the language. In Dion's musical career, Unison was a watershed event. The album was met with tremendous financial success upon its debut, thanks to hits like Where Does My Heart Beat Now? This first album in English introduced Dion to listeners outside of her native Quebec and France, setting the stage for her spectacular rise to international fame. Furthermore, despite early criticism for not supporting her hometown, Dion's triumph at the 1988 Eurovision Song Contest, representing Switzerland with Ne Parte Passant Moi, further cemented her position on the global stage. The monumental ballad My Heart Will Go On, which served as the title song for the mega-hit film Titanic, further cemented her place in music aristocracy. She won several awards, including Best Original Song at the 1997 Academy Awards for her classic tune, which has stood the test of time and is now one of the most popular songs of all time. Celine Dion's musical style critics have been both complimentary and critical of Dion's musical style. Her music, according to some reviewers, is overly romantic and typically follows pop and soul trends. Rather than delicate and restrained, Dion's sentimentality is powerful and forceful, as pointed out by Keith Harris of Rolling Stone magazine. He implies that she embodies a specific strain of pop sensibility that places an emphasis on exaggerated emotions. On the other hand, Dion's French language albums tend to be more revered because of their depth and variety. Some critics have also noted that her music sounds impersonal and overproduced because she doesn't seem to be involved in the production process. Nevertheless, Dion eventually took a more active role in the production of her music, even though she had certain initial constraints. This is especially true of her later albums. Her involvement has been minimal, however, she has made infrequent contributions to the songwriting. In response to earlier critiques and to emphasize her creative vision, Dion eventually became more active in the creation and production of her music. She pledged to continue making music that is authentic to herself and her vision, and she said she would like to have a bigger say in her projects. Countless impersonations of Dion's accent and stage mannerisms can be seen on shows such as Mad TV, Saturday Night Live, South Park, Royal Canadian Air Force, and This Hour Has 22 Minutes, who frequently mock and parody Dion in the media. Regardless, Dion has gone on record as saying that she doesn't care about these kinds of remarks, since she takes them as compliments on her fame. Dion demonstrated her talent for self-deprecation when she extended an invitation to Anna Gasteyer, who was well known for her SNL parodies, to join her on stage during a concert in New York City. Although Dion usually stays out of politics, she decided to weigh in after Hurricane Katrina in 2005. Tearfully, she voiced her displeasure with the U.S. government's reaction to the disaster and the delay in help delivery to the impacted areas during her visit on Larry King Live. While she does have beliefs, she wants to be clear that her main role is as a singer, not a politician. She also acknowledged the difficulties of publicly speaking out on controversial matters. Romantic Relationship and Marriage In 1980, when Dion was 12 years old and Renee Angelil was 38 years old, they first met. This was because her brother, Michel Dondelinger Dion, had sent Angelil a demo of the song Sei Nete Kun Rev, It Was Only a Dream, Nothing But a Dream, which Dion, her mother Therese, and her brother Jacques had written together. After that, Angelil helped her become a superstar in Francophone regions. After Angelil's second marriage ended in the early 1980s, he and Dion took a professional hiatus. Dion spent most of the year in Montreal studying English and dancing and singing, while Angelil spent most of the year in Las Vegas. He avoided being alone with me for too long a time upon his return, according to her autobiography, My Story, My Dream, published in 2000. In the meantime, she hid a picture of Angelil beneath her pillow, explaining, Before I fell asleep, I slipped it under the pillow, out of fear that my mother, who always shared a room with me, would find it. 
She also included, less and less could I hide from myself the fact that I was in love with Renee. I had all the symptoms. More or, I was in love with a man I couldn't love, who didn't want me to love him, who didn't want to love me. Dion's mother, who accompanied her until she was 19 years old, was hesitant about her daughter's blossoming crush on Angelil, who was much older and had been through two divorces. However, Dion adamantly told her, I'm not a minor, and mom eventually gave in. I am living in a free country. If I want to love someone, no one can stop me. Their professional relationship blossomed into a love one following Dion's victory at the Eurovision Song Contest in Dublin in 1988, when she was 20 years old. For five years, only close friends and family were aware of the romance. However, in a tearjerker interview with journalist Lisa Payette in 1992, Dion almost admitted everything. Many years down the road, Payette wrote Je Cherche L'Ombre for Dion's 2007 album Dell. Announced in the liner notes of Dion's 1993 album The Color of My Love, the couple were engaged on the 30th of March, 1993, Dion's 25th birthday, and publicized their relationship thereafter. Montreal, Quebec's Notre Dame Basilica was the site of their 1994 wedding. While in Sin City on January 5th, 2000, Dion and Angelil renewed their wedding vows. Renee's diagnosis and her battle with infertility. Dion overcame a series of personal challenges that molded her character and tested her resilience while she was at the peak of her career. A lot of bad things happened in Dion's personal life. She went through a lot of emotional upheaval after her husband and manager, Renee Angelil, was diagnosed with throat cancer in 1999. As evidence of her deep love and dedication, Dion demonstrated unfaltering devotion by taking a leave from her work to care for Angelil. Concurrently, Dion battled the personal fight of infertility, which she eventually revealed to the world. After enduring multiple rounds of in vitro fertilization, IVF, Dion's story of becoming a mother inspired many women who were going through tough times. The birth of her first child, Renee Charles, in 2001, was a victory against tragedy that touched the hearts of people all around the world. In spite of her rising stardom, Dion's personal problems remained a constant throughout the years. Dion's personal tragedy from a miscarriage in 2010 added insult to injury as Angelil's health continued to deteriorate. Later that year, twin sons Nelson and Eddie were joyfully born, thanks to Dion's steadfast hope and perseverance. It was a clear demonstration of her strength and faith when faced with challenges. A complex portrayal of a lady whose identity went beyond her musical talent emerged as Dion rose to worldwide fame, entangled in a web of emotional struggles. As she deftly maneuvered through the maze of fame, she became a star on stage and a loving wife and mother. Her unwavering commitment to her family and her courageous battle against her husband's illness won the hearts of millions around the world. Dion skillfully navigated the challenges of her personal and professional lives, keeping a delicate balance despite the turbulent storms of adversity. As she went through life, Dion's song stayed true to herself and touched listeners on an extremely personal level. The ups and downs of life are mirrored in her compositions, which become hymns of perseverance. Despite all that came her way, Dion's unwavering determination shone through, giving hope and courage to everyone who heard her story. Renee Angelil, Death. Overshadowed by deep tragedies, which she confronted with steadfast resilience and composure, her journey was marked by fleeting laurels. Renee Angelil's death on January 14, 2016, ended a lovely love tale that had endured for more than 40 years. The candor with which Dion shared her sorrow revealed the profound love she had for Angelil. She showed incredible bravery in the face of her grief by going back to her Las Vegas home a month later to continue her husband's work. Therese Tanguay Dion, well known as Maman Dion, Dion's mother, passed away in 2020, causing Dion to face another devastating loss. There was no mistaking the lasting impact that Therese had on Dion's career and life. Even though Dion was visibly upset, she went on and performed her show nevertheless, 
saying that her mother would have wanted it to go on. Both Dion's identity and her artistic expression were profoundly impacted by these devastating losses. She found refuge in her music, which allowed her to express herself and comforted her devoted audience. In 2019, Dion's healing journey was captured with tracks like Courage and Recovering, which were written by Pink. In spite of all the hardships she has endured, Dion's shining achievements shine brighter than ever before. She has turned her tragic story into an example to people all across the world, demonstrating the power of resilience and determination in the face of adversity. Her enduring impact is a reflection of Celine Dion's unwavering determination. Her memorable victories celebrate her natural ability, while her gracefully overcoming personal challenges displays her strength and bravery. Dion has been an inspiration and a symbol of strength throughout her life, with a path that is clearly a combination of victories reaching new heights and sufferings reaching new depths. Health Challenges and Current Health Status The dramatic changes to Dion's look, most notably her weight loss, have sparked widespread speculation over her health in recent years. These changes were made obvious after her spouse, Renee Angeli, passed away in 2016. Everyone from fans to journalists to critics was surprised by Dion's slim physique, which led to speculation and worries. There were rumors going around about people suffering from eating disorders, stress-related weight loss, or other serious health issues. Some said that the constant demands of the entertainment industry caused her to alter physically, while others said that she was grieving the loss of her husband. The public's worries were amplified to the point that Dion felt forced to address them, reassuring fans about her health and providing an explanation for her weight loss that went beyond her loss. Dion addressed the rumors head on in her statement. What Dion revealed was that she had been dealing with health concerns for a while. She mentioned her joyous participation in ballet as one of the main reasons. She found solace in dance as a way to manage her sadness following her husband's death. Dion dove headfirst into the strenuous art form, which with consistent practice promotes weight loss and the development of lean muscle. Even Celine Dion said that aging was to blame for her weight loss. In Dion's view, weight loss is a common consequence of aging because of changes in metabolism and the natural decline in muscle mass. She went on to say that her sense of style, which had become more refined and trend-setting over the years, had also contributed to her changing physique. I am doing this for myself, she said. I long for the days when I am confident, attractive, feminine, and sultry. Dion is determined to pursue her music and personal growth despite the public criticism she has been receiving over her health. She still won't allow the loss of her husband define her, even though she knows it hurts. On the contrary, she inspires her followers to be strong, resilient, and confident by modeling these qualities herself. Public personalities, particularly women, endure tremendous pressure to maintain a certain level of physical and mental perfection, as the rumors about Dion's health have shown. Dion has responded with strength, candor, and a resolute declaration of her right to control her own body. In addition to her musical abilities, she is an inspiration to many because of the strength and dignity with which she overcame personal obstacles. As with previous chapters, this one highlights Dion's resilience in the face of hardship, her undying devotion to her fans, and her continuous personal and artistic development. Dion announced the cancellation of her March and April 2022 concerts in the United States and Canada on January 15th, 2022, via her website and social media. Since Dion was unable to perform due to severe and persistent muscle spasms, the shows had to be canceled. After some time had passed, Dion revealed that her spasms had been caused by stiff person syndrome, an unusual neurological disease on December 8, 2022. As a result, the entire tour was postponed. Because Dion's illness was still a problem in May 2023, the other shows were also postponed. Love Again was Dion's first feature film, and she wrote and performed five original songs for the soundtrack. The title tune, Love Again, debuted on April 13, 2023, and the entire album followed on May 12, 2023. 
A documentary about Celine Dion's struggles with stiff person syndrome titled I Am Celine Dion was announced for release by Amazon MGM Studios in January 2024. Worldwide Recognition One of Dion's many accomplishments that has cemented her place in music history is her record for most Juno Awards for Album of the Year, which she currently holds according to the Guinness World Record. Regardless, in January 2023, she caused controversy by not being included in Rolling Stone's list of the 200 best singers of all time, demonstrating her lasting influence on the industry. With over 200 million albums sold globally, she has established herself as one of the best-selling musicians of all time, marking a phenomenal achievement during her legendary career. Acknowledged as a major player in the pop music industry, Dion has been dubbed the Queen of Pop and the Priestess of Pop. In addition to Mariah Carey and Whitney Houston, she has had a profound effect on the vocal techniques used by contemporary female pop musicians, revolutionizing the genre and making power ballads more popular. Billboard named Dion the best-selling contemporary female artist in history, and Randy Jackson said that Dion's voice, together with Houston's and Carey's, is a symbol of the current day. Notably, her impact can be seen on prominent talent shows like American Idol, where many of the hopefuls try to imitate her manner. Notable musicians that have mentioned Dion as an inspiration or favorite singer include Britney Spears, Rihanna, Adele, Josh Groban, and countless more. Furthermore, Dion has received accolades for her vocal prowess and work from a slew of famous music industry heavyweights, including Beyonce, Elton John, and Quincy Jones. Despite the tragic events of the past several years, Dion's voice continues to captivate audiences around the world. Her incredible humanity and resilience are on full display in her story, which includes both monumental victories and extremely personal tragedies. People all over the globe are still moved by her singing and her steadfast dedication to her family and charity. The biography of Dion, who rose from modest origins in Charlemagne, Quebec, to international superstardom, is a complex tapestry of incredible experiences interwoven with difficulties. Despite everything, millions of people have been captivated by her genuineness, strength, and extraordinary talent. No matter what the future holds for Celine Dion, one thing is certain. Her legacy will live on, telling stories of strength, perseverance, and the power of music to change lives. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and turn on post notification to be the first to know when the next video is up.